Ladies and gentlemen, this is Lions Dan with another news and commentary. We need to say a um, we need to say a shout out and say a prayer and duels to Ricky Smiley and her and his family. Turns out that his daughter was shot three times in Houston, and he just talked about it on his radio program. So I'm gonna go ahead and play it, and I'm gonna continue the rest of my commentary. And it's, 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 it's sad because it's just been been so many gun violence. An eight year old girl in Atlanta got killed. Mm -hmm. An eight year old kid at the Galleria Mall in Birmingham uh, mm -hmm. was killed. And, uh, yeah, kids uh, caught up in in a crossfire. And uh, I wasn't I wasn't gonna even say nothing about this. I've been dealing with this all morning, sitting up here with butterflies in my stomach, trying to do a show. You know, my my youngest daughter was shot last night. Who? And she, Aaron. What? She, what? What? She in the hospital. Right now. Uh, I'm I'm no, to, no, what? That's why I can't have focus because I'm sitting up here trying to do the morning show and trying to book my flight Wait, to Houston to go and shot. see about her. She was shot, uh, How shot she twice doing? last night. She's a what? She's fine. Yeah, she's fine. It, it just, it just, I'm just so angry right now. And, and, and I, I just made the video about the eight-year-old kid and my daughter going to Whataburger to get something, something to eat last night and... You know, uh, uh, I go to bed around about 8.30 or 9 o'clock, and I woke up to text message. I, I got to do the show. I came I'm trying to focus, trying to do the show, and trying to figure out, because it ain't hardly any flights because of, because of COVID. They, you know, it, it's limited flights, so I got to, you know, fly to Dallas and then drive down to Houston because it was a seven-hour layover. But the fact that uh, she's, you know, laying up in the hospital, I'm probably going to have to go into surgery. Oh, my so God. She's just crying. She's crying. She's scared. I can't get to her. And I just I just uh, hate it. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, and and all the stuff these people out here trying to do to fight for the rights of black people, this is no discredit to Black Lives Matter because I believe that and I'm with that move, movement 110%. And, and one has nothing to do with the other. But there are some criminals in our community that we need to do something about. They are out here, not just my daughter. Some kids didn't make it. The 8-year-old kid did not make it. I'm okay with my daughter. Yeah. She's going to be fine. But the eight, the two 8-year-old kids in Atlanta, the 8-year-old boy in, in, in Birmingham, they got their mama got to go. I get the luxury of going to the hospital, even if they don't let me upstairs to see her waiting in the lobby. Right? I get to wait in the lobby until the doctor comes down, and I get to text and talk to my daughter because I spoke to her this morning. She was crying and scared. But just think about all the parents. Forget me. Forget me. Think about all the parents that got to go pick out a casket this morning. Lord Jesus. Wow. We bad, man. Uh -huh. You can't you get mad at us when the uh, old, old folks done retired? They done retired. They can't even sit on the front porch because of y'all ass. Hey, walking back and forth, cussing all loud, alley with your shorts and your underwear, showing no respect for authority, will cuss an old person out. I don't understand it. And I just pray. I'm sitting up here, a gunshot victim myself. Ugh. And it has affected my head, and, uh, uh, shot one of my kids. And I'm still up here fighting and, and, and praying uh, uh, for, for, for the rights of black people. And all of the parents that had to bury their loved ones due to gun violence in our own community by our own people. It's absolutely disgusting. Oh, my God, Ricky. Yeah, so uh, if I, you know. But, you, can but tell, it, it, you can tell that you're not all the way here. You can t I can tell it was something on your skin. Yeah, you can, you I can, can tell, too. We can feel it because you, you, you've you been yeah. so quiet and stuff. And I'm like, something is going yeah. on. And I was going to call you after this. Oh, my God. She, yeah, oh, just, my I'm God. Just, just, I'm just, I'm just I'm disgusted. I'm so sorry. It's sorry. Uh, it's nothing because my daughter could have died. If that, if that, yes. if that was, she was shot with a hollow point bullet. If that bullet would have hit her in the chest, she would have been dead. Oh, God, Ricky. And I just, I just, I just hate it. I just hate we love it. her. Send her our love and we pray yeah. for her. Ugh, that's so but, senseless. Going to get a burger. That, that that just don't make no sense. These you, you, Oh Lord. So I, I, I just I just I just need everybody all over the country mm. and, and we all need to figure out what we're gonna do about things that's going on in our own community because those numbers are far worse than the than the ones that the police are doing. But I'm still with Black Lives Matter. I'm still with that movie, and and it and and, and it 
it, it, you make it hard for, for people that's trying to do the right thing and trying to have rights for us. But look how we act and the things that we do to our own community. Us. You invalidate all the think? efforts and make yeah. our Absolutely. make our efforts feel irrelevant. They don't care. Absolutely. Yeah. So I'm not gonna even merge that argument just because because I'm I'm with it. I'm still with it. I'm still gonna march. I'm still gonna protest. I still b- believe in, in everything that they're doing and what they stand for. But we got to we got to have a whole nother conversation after we uh, get finished with with this and get some of the things. And after this election, it got to be a real conversation because we get mad. And, and they always say you're talking down to black folks when you have to correct us. You're talking down to your people. You didn't made it big, and you're talking down to people. And but we continue to take the bullets and get affected and get robbed and get your house broke in. And get and go through all of this stuff, but you can't say nothing, or you get canceled, or dragged on the internet, or talking down to black folks. When you are a victim of crimes from your own people, all the people in Chicago that got shot, all the parents that got to sit in the ER. Now I'm one of them got to sit in the ER uh, uh, down in the lot because you can't go upstairs. I got to do that today and a flight, a, a flight to Dallas and drive three and a half hours to Houston by myself. I don't care. I'm a man. But this is what we got to do. We're just in the middle of a fight. So you're fighting us and then you're fighting the police on the other end. So we, we, we're going we're gonna to keep it rolling. We're going to keep it moving. God is still good. God is still in the blessing business. And I don't care if you don't pray for nobody else. Don't worry about me. My daughter is fine. But please pray for all of the parents who kids was killed this weekend. More Rick and Smiley Morning Show coming up. Well, ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. I'm going to give a shout out and send my prayers to Ricky Smiley and his family. Um, This is basically disturbing. Uh, what happened to him? What, ha- what happened to his daughter? She was shot three times in Houston at a wa- at a water burgers restaurant just get a burger now we were talking about black on black crime and everything else and you know it is and i feel ricky smiley's pain because i lost two and this is this is a personal note a couple of years ago i lost two of my cousins back to back through gun, through, through gun violence. Two of my cousins. So I'm glad that, you know, his daughter will be all right. But there's families out there that aren't so lucky. And I'm just basically in shock when I heard the news. I'm really, I'm still in shock now that Ricky Smiley's daughter was shot three times and I'm and and she will make it. I'm I'm glad that, that that she will make it, but I mean I see, you know, when we talk about, you know, with Tariq Nasheed, and I remember what he was saying that Chicago need has been warning that that white supremacists will attack the city of Chicago and in the net it said it's still black on black crime in Chicago. But, uh, you know, uh, we, and I've been also talking about the truce between the GDs and the vice lords up there. There's no, basically, there's, I mean, that, that there's, I mean, I, uh, I, I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen, I'm speechless because what Ricky Smiley just said about his daughter, it just really breaks my heart. It really breaks my heart. Um, As I was saying about the city of Chicago, you know, like, it's like every time there's a holiday, it's like things, bad things will happen in, 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 in the community. Every holiday. Now, if it was gang related, I'm just being honest. If it was gang related, they don't wait to no holidays. They will, if they get you, they'll get you Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. But it always happens on holidays. Every holiday, something bad happens. I'm just, I'm just shocked about Ricky Smiley. I, I listen to the brother on his radio show sometimes. It's, it's shocking to hear what happened to his daughter. It's really shocking. 
I got love for the brother, you know, and I'm glad that his daughter's okay, but there's families out there, you know, that aren't so lucky. There's families out there who was out having a good time on the 4th of July and bam, they're no longer with us. And I feel his pain. You know, I lost two of my cousins a couple of years back in 2014, actually. And I lost my uncles through gun violence, through, um, by a white man, by a white neighbor. Most of you guys know about that story. So my thoughts and prayers goes to, you know, Ricky Smiley and his family. And also I'll give some prayers to the families that lost a loved one in 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 this in this tragedy of violence on the fourth of July. It's it's heartbreaking. Really heartbreaking. So y'all let me know what you think about this. Like, click, subscribe, and remember to click the notification bell for all the news and commentary. Stay strong, Ricky Smiling. Stay strong, brother. We're behind you 100%. Till then, this is Lions Insight and off. Deuces.